So here in this video, we're just looking at some questions under uh, wave motion and sound. So we have this question here. Question uh, 65 there it says, a sound wave traveling through air can be represented as shown in the diagram. Okay. So we have this uh, incomplete wave that we've been given. So we have A, B, C, and D. So question one says, which distance A, B, C, or D represents one wavelength? Okay, so one wavelength. Okay, so from what we know so far, wavelength okay, is the distance between two successive crests. Okay, we looked at that. Okay, so two successive crests. So A there represents one wavelength. The, the amplitude again from the diagram there you can see the amplitude is simply the maximum displacement so which is c c there is the amplitude then copy the diagram and label another distance e which is equal to one wavelength okay so from the other diagram there you can see that one cycle the distance of one cycle okay so one cycle one cycle is simply uh, one crest and one trough okay so the distance of this, okay. So if we were to show there to represent it as E, simply going to show the line from there to there and the boy T, E. Then what is the frequency of sound wave with speed 34 meters per second and wavelength 0 0.5? So the formula we know, velocity C T is equal to frequency times lambda. We make the subject of the formula frequency, so we divide both sides by lambda. So frequency is equal to velocity over lambda. The velocity there, which is the speed, is equal to 34 meters per second over 0 0.5, which is our wavelength. And here, okay. So we're simply dividing now 34, okay, 34 divided by 0 0.5, okay, we get 68 heads, okay, and that's the answer for the question, okay, so we have another question, okay, another question here says, um, we find the value of the amplitude. So we have this question. So you can see that on the x-axis, you've been given time and you have a number of waves there. Okay. So if you were to count the number of waves, so one crest and one trough makes one wave. Okay. So we have how many waves there? One, two. So that is 2.5 waves. The total number of waves there are 2.5 waves and it takes 55 seconds to make these waves. Okay. And the height of these waves, okay, the height, which is the amplitude, okay, simple terms, the amplitude, simply the height of a crest or a trough, okay, which is 5, as we can see from there. So, find A, the value of the amplitude, we've already mentioned that, that's 5 meters. The period of a wave, so the period of a wave is simply the time it takes to form one complete wave, okay, the time it takes to form one complete wave, and one complete wave there is formed after how many seconds uh, that is 25 seconds so at 25 seconds there you have one complete wave so 25 seconds that is the period okay the frequency of a wave okay very important here so we have the period we've seen from the diagram the diagram is given as the period so the period for, according to the diagram is 25 seconds so to find frequency we're simply going to do frequency is equal to inverse of the period okay and our period is uh, simply 25 seconds so on over 25 this gives us what 0 0.04 heads okay 0 0.04 heads that is our answer okay 0 0.04 heads another formula we can use okay so from the definition of frequency Okay, we know that frequency, okay, from the definition, we know that frequency okay, is equal to number of what? Number of cycles, okay, 
so number of cycles or waves okay over time it takes time it takes to form those waves so if we count these waves there we have um one wave two so 2.5 okay so we have two and a half so that is 2.5 cycles over the time it takes that is 55 seconds we still get 0 0.04 um, heads as our frequency okay question this says find the wavelength if its speed is 1.02 meters per second so we use the same formula velocity is equal to frequency okay velocity is equal to frequency Okay, velocity is equal to frequency times lambda. Okay, so we are finding the wavelength now. So divide both sides by the frequency. So lambda is equal to velocity over frequency. 1.02 meters per second. The frequency we've already calculated 0 0.04 hertz. The only thing to do now is to divide 1.02 divide by uh, 0 0.04 okay so we get 25.5 meters that is the wavelength okay that is the the wavelength for this question so we have question 69 there as you can see Question 69 there says, um, we're simply defining, okay? Define, state what is meant by frequency. Frequency is the number of uh, waves formed per second, okay? Or number of waves formed per given time. Wavelength, is the, it has many definitions, okay? The distance between two successive crests or the distance between two successive troughs or the distance okay between two successive compressions or the distance between two successive rarefactions or the minimum distance at which a wave repeats itself or the distance it takes to form one complete cycle or one complete what wave the amplitude is the maximum displacement okay of particles in a wave from their rest position okay so um we have another question here the diagram below shows waves generated on a spiral ring. Okay. So we can see these waves the way they are on a spiral ring. Question says indicate the following on the diagram. So the compression, this is a uh, region on, on the wave. Okay. So compression is simply the region on the wave where the particles are closely packed. So there is C there, I've labeled C, that's the compression, and the R there, that's the refraction. Indicate one wavelength, okay? So one wavelength is the distance, okay? You just uh, get the distance C and R together, okay? The total distance starting from C and R, the compression. So one compression and one refraction, they'll be equal to, um, uh, they'll be equal to uh, one wavelength, okay? So if I was to show this, I uh, will simply do something like this, okay? So, it's something like this. Okay, so just to make it a bit simple. So, this is a compression, C, and this is a rarefaction, R. Compression, rarefaction. So, one wavelength will be here. Okay, that's one wavelength, okay? Question C says, what type of wave is shown in the diagram above? Okay, this is quite easy. It's a longitudinal wave. In what way does the vibration of, in what way does the vibration take place in a sound wave differ from that in a transverse wave? Okay, so the difference is in a longitudinal wave, the particles, the vibration, the particles vibrate parallel, okay, to the wave motion. While in a transverse wave, the particles vibrate perpendicularly to the wave motion perpendicular to the wave motion or at right angles if the source vibrate at frequency of 20 hertz and produce waves of wavelength 0.2 at which speed 
okay so we want to find the speed okay we want to find the speed so um uh, speed we know is equal to frequency over wavelength so we've been given 20 heads multiplied by uh, 0 0.02 meters that's the wavelength so it's just a matter of dividing i mean i'm multiplying there 20 multiplied by 0 0.02 we have 0 0.0 that is 0 0.4 okay meters per second okay 0 0.4 meters per per second okay so we're done here okay, so we have uh, this uh, we have this figure here a graph okay so from the graph determine the amplitude of the wave so we can see the amplitude of the wave there it's simply 15 meters or well, these are centimeters 15 centimeters the wavelength there it's 60 okay from the diagram calculate the frequency okay so we know okay frequency we say um we're going to say velocity is equals to frequency times wavelength divide both sides by lambda frequency is equal to wavelength over lambda the velocity complete the calculate the frequency okay if it travels so we've been given the velocity of three so this is an ecz question three meters per second over so the wavelength okay the wavelength there from the diagram we can easily see uh, the wavelength that is 60 okay so the wavelength is 60 centimeters we just need to convert this 60 centimeters into meters okay into what into meters okay so we know that um one meter is equal to 100 centimeters then you put 60 centimeters here x there so you have 100 x is equal to 60. so you simply divide the 100 there so you get 60 divided by 100 that's 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 meters so we have to convert this in meters because on the diagram there it's given in centimeters so 3 divided by 0 0.6 you get 5 heads as the frequency Other question here is on the electromagnetic spectrum, quite easy. So the electromagnetic spectrum here, it's a group of electromagnetic waves and these are a type of waves that do not require a medium for them to travel, okay? They're different from mechanical waves that require a medium to travel. So you have radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, then we have A, X-ray and gamma rays. What component is represented by A? So here it's quite easy. I have a mnemonic there. Rost maze is very unrare X mass gift. Okay, Rost maze is very unrare X mass gift. Okay, so A there, very, so Rost there simply means radio waves, maze, microwaves, is infrared, V for very, visible light. Okay, and rare that is um, ultraviolet. Okay, ultraviolet. Okay, ultraviolet or ultraviolet light. Okay, then X mass there stands for X ray and gift for gamma rays. So, component A is ultraviolet light. State the speed of the following components. So, all these waves have got the same, same, same speed, which is the speed of light is 3.0 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second that's their speed all electromagnetic waves are transverse what's the meaning of transverse 
Transverse simply means the vibration of particles in these waves is perpendicular to the direction of the wave motion. Okay, or the particles vibrate at right angles to the wave motion. Give another example of a transverse wave, but that which is not an electromagnetic waves. Okay, pretty much is here. It's a water wave. A water wave. Water wave is a transverse wave, but it's not an electromagnetic wave simply because it requires a medium to uh, to travel through. But these waves do not require a medium to travel through. Okay, we have another diagram here. Um, so we we are given um, this diagram shows the transverse wave and we have distance there okay meters on the x-axis the y-axis we have uh, the amplitude find the number of waves so calculating the number of waves is quite easy so one crest and one trough gives us one wave so that is the distance of one wave so we have one two three four five we have a total of five waves. One, two, three, four, five. What is the amplitude of the wave in the figure above? Okay. That's simply five meters. Calculate the speed of the waves above if the number of waves are produced in two seconds. Okay. So calculate the speed. Okay. We calculate the speed. Okay, if the number of waves, calculate the speed of the waves above, if the number of waves, okay, so if, okay, okay, I get the question, so we want to calculate, so for the speed here, um, it's pretty much easy, so calculate the speed of the waves above, if the number of waves in are produced in two seconds, okay, so you can say speed is equal to distance over time. The total distance to form these waves is 6. The time it takes, we are told they are producing 2 seconds. So we have 3, three meters. Okay. We have 3, 3 meters. Okay. Then, um, let's see if we can use another formula here. So we have the wavelength there, which is one, and the frequency. Okay. So we have six, we have five waves. Okay. Okay, so we get three. Okay, when we round off. Okay, so we can do this. The frequency there we are going to say um, frequency is equal to number of cycles over time it takes. Number of cycles there we found five waves. Okay, they are simply five waves. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five waves over the time it takes to you get two point five. Okay, so 2.5, the wavelength there, as you can see, after one wave is formed at one, one meter, okay, one meter, you get 2.5, you round this off, you get three, three meters, okay, another question, um, Below is a diagram showing a wave traveling along a spring. Okay. Question A says, in what way is the wave the same as a sound wave? Okay. They are the same as a sound wave because they are both longitudinal waves. Okay. The particles, ooh, they are making longitudinal waves. Okay. Because they have compressions and rare factions. Okay. What are the regions U and W? U is a compression. W is a rarefaction. Explain why sound waves travel faster in liquids than in gases. Okay, so this has to do with the density. Okay, 
liquids are more denser than gases so uh, sound wave will travel faster in a liquid